Hey there, my name is Dylan Schmidt and I'm a senior RMM admin at Proval Tech. Today I'm going to go over how to add a group to the patch manager in ConnectWise Automate. Please click the like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner so you never have to miss out on another video. Let's get into it. For this video, we already have our group created, so we're going to go straight into the patch manager. To do that, we click on automation and then patch manager. Once the patch manager is open, we need to go to the configuration window, which is the top very right button, configuration, where we will find our group layout. Here in this group layout, to add our new group, we can click on this group actions right here, click add existing group, and then find the group we have created. In this case, we made a group in the patching folder that contains all the agents for a client that is very picky about their maintenance window. So now that we have this new group added, we can update this Microsoft update policy to whatever maintenance window they would like. So let's say that's Sunday 3 to 5 a.m. And then make sure that the reboot policy is set to the suppress reboot and alert. Now that we have these policies set, another thing we want to make sure is that we are placing this group correctly to make sure that these policies actually take effect. So because this is a client specific group, we are going to want to make sure that is below the generic patch install workstations and servers group because these policies are applied from the bottom up. So if this policy is above these two patch install workstations and patch install servers, it will apply the policies that are set at those groups. So we are going to make sure that this group is beneath those two groups. And once we do that, we have set up our new custom patching group in ConnectWise Automate. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on ConnectWise Automate. Let us know what else you'd like to see, or if you have any questions, please leave your response in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe.